We're live. <laughs> okay, okay. Welcome to Mocktails with Harry. My name is Harry Marie. And today, I'm trying to add a comment. Forgive me. My internet is doing something. Today, we are... Hey, today we're drinking, making the faux sake lemon drop. So, I do have a special guest. Her name is Malika, and it's my beautiful sister who's staying with me. My niece is sleeping, so this is actually, it really worked out. You know, you, you, you just cannot ask the universe for anything it gives you what you want. So anyway, this is Malika. Hi, Hi everyone. To people. Glad to be here. So excited for the drinks. Okay, so um, Malika lives, Malika actually doesn't live in New York City, so I'm very happy to have her here and on the show. Hi, Jade. Okay, so we're gonna wait a couple of minutes to, you know, the rest of our guests to trickle in, give us some time. But this is gonna be a really interesting mocktail. Like I know we've done interesting before, but this is gonna be even more interesting because of the ingredients. I'm pretty excited to, you know, go over it. Um, so, Mike, do you have any questions about the show? No. I mean, you've you've been in, in the audience. She's been in the audience before, um, but this is her first time actually on the show. So, anything you want to be. And get answer anything you want me to answer before we start or like any questions you may have or well again I want to say I'm so excited to be here yeah um, and sharing this moment um, to learn about alcohol and drinks and different things especially last last two weeks ago that episode was super exciting learning about simple syrups so I guess one question I want to know is why mocktails with Harry Okay, great question. Stay in the camera with me. Sorry, I keep getting distracted. <laughs> no worries. So, um, I started Mocktails with Harry because I wanted to minimize the amount of alcohol that I drink. I also wanted to dine out and have and kind of challenge restaurants and bars to like make me a non-alcoholic beverage. And so, um, in my pursuit of trying to remain adultish. Um, and also wanted to connect with people during this pandemic of us, you know, all being locked in the home and not being able to dine out and interact. I thought, what, what way can I interact with, with people that live by myself? Um, so the, the way that I found was to do that was to do it virtually. So here we are on Instagram. I actually started Mockers with Harry Zooming on mm -hmm. Zoom Live. Wow. So that was interesting. That was interesting. Um, I did it for a couple of episodes on Zoom, so it was cool. Then I realized that I wanted to get more folks involved. Hi, Eero. More folks involved. So let me know if you can hear me, if you can hear the music in the background, if I need to speak up or lower the volume, please let me know. Um, so yeah, we have Malika here today. <laughs> Right, so I started on Zoom and then I just, I took a poll and I asked my audience, you know, if they wanted me to do it on Instagram, would that be better? And a lot of them said, yeah, it would, it would be better. So here we are on Instagram, usually every Thursdays um, at 8 o'clock, I am sharing, you know, a mocktail and like interesting ingredients. So like, we did simple serves when you were last here about two weeks ago and then last week we did like... Um, a chili infused that agave so and I still have the ingredients and I'm gonna have to make that for her I <laughs> promised that I would make it for her so I have to do that as well hey blessings how are you so yeah so I think you know um, we can get into it so today's mocktail is called the full sake lemon drop any questions about that? Am I gonna be a little helper? Yeah, of course. You're gonna be <laughs> making some drinks. Um, you're going to be, yeah, you're gonna be working together. So really quickly, yeah. can you tell me what is a sake? So sake is Japanese, a Japanese, is it a rice wine? 
Yes, it's like this Japanese white rice wine. But they also have soju, which is a Korean. Mm. Is it potato or is it rice? I'm not sure, but I've heard about it. Yeah, soju is similar to sake. Um, it's a clear, transparent, alcoholic spirit from Asia. But soju is Korean and it's S O J U. And sake is Japanese. And so, um, you know, when I'm when I'm actually on my like little like wine and champagne diet, mm. I drink. I'll drink sake. And my mother and I were talking about it last night. She said she had a glass and she knocked out. <laughs> so you can definitely get turned up over sake. Oh, There's some. So crazy. Yeah. There's a <laughs> restaurant in the city that only uses sake and soju to make their cocktails, mm. and they, they they stay lit. Like wow. people come for the cocktails wow. because soju and sake could definitely get you get you lit. Wow. So um, but so sake, yes, it's a Japanese rice spirit. Okay. Um, you know, some people said they prefer vodka because it's from potatoes, mm. so it's healthier than the other alcohol. Sounds like carbs. Don't yeah, you? it's. I, mean, <laughs> um, I think I think vodka is good. It has minimal carbs compared to other alcohols. Mm, interesting. That's yeah. So if you, I've heard people say they don't drink vodka because it's minimal carbs. Um, I drink mocktails. <laughs> <laughs> so um, let me see. What's pho? Okay, so pho is not what we actually think it is when it comes to food. Hi, Cree. It is um, it is my wordplay on pho, on pho, uh, meaning fake. Okay. <laughs> so. Got it. F a u x. Yes. Versus p h o. Yeah. So I didn't want to use fake. I didn't want to use actually put a pho in the name of a drink, so I put pho. And I don't know if you guys know, but like um. Megan the Stallion, her dog name is Pho, P H O E for four. So Pho. that's also where I got it from to play with it. So um, yeah, so my wordplay with Pho is Pho. So Pho, 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 Saki Lemon Drop. And the thing about this cocktail is we're not using Saki. So that's no. also how I was kind of oh. like tricking you guys or doing a little twist. We're not using sake in this in this drink, which is why I actually wanted to do it. A lemon drop is pretty is a really simple cocktail. Okay. Um it started in the 1970s out on um, in San Francisco. So it's a pretty simple three ingredient drink that really used vodka. Mm -hmm. And then um, if you don't want to use vodka you can use sake. Right. If you don't, don't want to use sake you can use Rice vinegar. Wow. So I have rice vinegar, which um, I would see a lot of Asian countries use rice vinegar in their cooking. I know definitely Japanese use rice vinegar in their cooking. So, um, yeah. So our main ingredient is going to be rice vinegar instead of the, instead of the sake. So this is gonna be a simple, real simple recipe, um, and we can get started. Okay. You guys ready to get started? <laughs> We're excited. Okay, so let's start. So, go over the ingredients. We have our rice vinegar. We have our simple syrup. I did not make simple syrup this week. Oh, what a disaster. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's okay. This is from Pure Cane Sugar. Which I would say, which is why it has like a that little hint of color. Oh, this is along the lines of what you what yep. you like to make. Yep. So I could have used pure cane sugar, um, which I have organic cane sugar, but I already had bought this some time ago, so I'm just gonna use it instead of making it. Hi, Kate. How are you doing? So simple syrup. We have our fresh lemon. I have another piece of lemon, half a lemon in the fridge I'm going to pull out. <laughs> I also have lemon juice and I'll show you why I have lemon juice, okay. which is not fresh, it's from, from the bottle. Um, in, I'll show you why we're going to use this. And then of course we have our coupe glass, which is a suggested glass for a lemon drop. Ooh, la, la. You can also use a martini glass, you know, um, if it's a coupe or a martini, but I want to use a coupe. Okay. And we have our tools for success, our cocktail shaker our jigger, 
I have a peeler to decide how I'm going to garnish <laughs> our drink. Mm-hmm. And then, for the cuteness. For the cuteness. And then I have um, sugar because we're going to rim our, our glass. Mm-hmm. So we're going to do a simple rim like I did the last time. Keeping it simple and cute. So you can put some sugar on there. Absolutely. On the plate. How much? Go for it. Okay. Yeah. Make sure you have. You, you're, gonna be di- you're gonna be dipping the glass. Let me put some more. You're gonna be dipping the glass um, once you put the lemon juice in there. So you kind of want to have a lot to be able to coat it. Okay. So we it have- looks like I'm preparing for the winter time with this little snow. Yeah. <laughs> Are you calling it snow? It's cute. <laughs> so here's the lemon. You can put just just you can just um, pour a little bit on there. Okay. It's gonna be used so that we can help keep the sugar on the. The rim of the glass. Oh, okay, got it. That Just to wet sense, it a yeah. little bit. Yeah. So, um, yep, that's good. All right. All right. Put the side. So now we're gonna rim our glass. We're gonna keep it real simple. Never done this before, but I've seen gonna it. Keep all it real the simple. Time. Okay. So. Wet it. Yeah. Wet it. Turn it. Let it drip. Yep. So that it doesn't have too much dripping off. Now let you. Rim it. Rim it. So oh you can make it with the sugar. Alright. There you go. I'm nervous. Just a little bit. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. <laughs> it's easy. Hopefully it looks nice and neat. So just stick it in there and then turn it. Yeah. So that I can get some sugar. Mm-hmm. Kind of shake it again. So you got it rim. Oh. Kind of messed that up. That's okay. No. <laughs> we're home. We're good. Alright. Alright. So we, we want to rim the glass first so that it'll dry. Oh. Understood. So that it dries while we're making the actual cocktail. Mocktail, excuse me. Okay, so I'm gonna get some ice. You know, my favorite thing to do when I come off camera. <laughs> but I, I always see them shaking in the, in the bars and I'm like, that looks a little overwhelming. <laughs> and I heard that when it gets really cold, it's kind of hard to open it. Is that true? Yeah, I actually had a hard time taking this cover off of this top because it was wet. Mm. And then when it dried completely, I realized, oh, it's easy now. So yeah, very, very easy. Excuse me, I'm gonna get a scooper. Go in here. (laughs) Okay, so now we're gonna add all, we're gonna add the rice vinegar, lemon juice, and simple syrup with ice to our cocktail shaker. So go ahead. Okay. Um, Fill it up? Yeah, fill it up. I'm not too savvy with the... <laughs> okay, I think this is good, right? Up. Okay, so we have our ice to the shift the um, ice to the side. Okay, so we have our ice here. Now we're going to use three ounces of of rice vinegar in place of sake or vodka for this for this drink. So here's the thing. Um, I'm gonna be honest. I've made mocktails with rice vinegar, but I've never made this one. I actually wanted it to be a real taste surprise. So we're definitely gonna be in for a surprise. <laughs> um, hey Shanti, we're gonna be in for a surprise for what this is gonna taste like. So I'm pretty excited about that. Malika's gonna be with me telling me how much her thoughts about it. So let's see. And my sister, so we're gonna just share the glass. <laughs> All right, so this side is two ounces. Okay. And this side is one ounce. Okay. So if you'd like, you can fill this up one time and kind of cut it in a half, which there's a measuring line there. Uh, and But then it's kind of hard. Or you can just use two ounces and then just use one ounce there. Yeah. And don't, don't be gentle. Pour that sucker, pour it in, pour it again, pour it in. Like I'm experienced. Yeah, just go for it. Go for it. <laughs> okay. So I'm just curious, why why rice vinegar? Um, because so I think I think it's such an it's an ingredient that is used in Japan, and because sake is from Japan and it's also made from rice, that's the closest substitute alternative that's not alcoholic okay yeah this is nice for those who mm-hmm. don't want to get i mean who, who don't want to you know drink alcohol yeah you can take a, this alternative i like that yeah 
So, um, for those of you that are now joining us, we are making the full, uh, full sake lemon drop. I explained earlier why I named it faux. It's fa wordplay. <laughs> And now we are preparing our mocktail. We've added ice, we've added rice vinegar in place of our sake or vodka if you're not drinking alcohol. And um, so now you want to also add, I'm going to squeeze some lime juice. Okay. So we're using the, uh, the actual lime or we're using the lime juice? We're we'll using the actual lime. Okay. Let me get I mean the lemon, the, sorry. The okay. actual lemon. Let me get my lemon from the fridge and also get my pieces to make my juice. Okay. I'll stir. <laughs> I think leaving it in the ice for now is okay because it'll kind of, um, that's what I'm looking for, kind of like, not distill, but not make the rice vinegar as strong. Yes. Yeah. Do you yes, smell it, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I do smell it. Yeah. It has this vinegary smell, but it's not as strong as actual right. vinegar. So I'm going to juice for one ounces. I'm just going to use my jigger. I can use my jar where I can juice it, but I'm just gonna try to try to save some um not have to wash dishes. <laughs> just, that's what I'm we're trying to do, so that's right. So I might need another half of a lemon. Okay. This, this one here? Yeah, this is giving me half of it. But what I want to do, I want to actually use this to peel part of this lemon off because I want to use this as my, I'm kind of nervous because I usually don't use this. Yeah, part of this as my, oh man, my lemon peel. Okay. Or not. <laughs> not as smooth as we hope. Not as smooth as I hope it would be. So I'm just going to, um, I'll probably do a wheel. So I'll probably do a wheel lemon wheel as a garnish. And how much lemon are you trying to? So we need a we need an ounce okay. of freshly squeezed lemon juice. So here we have an ounce. So I'll pour that in. I just used an ounce of lemon juice, which used up basically a whole lemon. So again, we did three ounces of rice vinegar and then one ounce of um lemon juice freshly you can use um bottled lemon juice if you'd like but i think because this mock this, this drink has rice vinegar in it i want to get as fresh as possible so that's why i'm using definitely using the, the rice i mean the lemon juice fresh okay so now we're going to use an ounce of simple syrup okay that'll definitely diffuse any of the acidity or the tartness of the rice vinegar so that's an ounce Got it. An ounce. An ounce yeah. the, short part, the short part. The smaller side of the jigger. All to the top. Oh, that's what it's called? The jigger? Yep. Oh, you said don't, you be, go. don't be polite. Go ahead. Got yeah. it. Mm -hmm. That's oh. how you, this is poor. You, you're going to make a mess. You're going to make a mess. If you don't like to feel liquids and stuff like that, bartending is definitely not for you. <laughs> um, because you, you do make that kind of a mess. Liquid is all over the place. Okay, so now I'm going to cover this. And do you want to do the honor of shake? I would love to. Okay, so make sure you're. You tell me my art. The yeah, art. make sure you're you're holding the shaker itself, the top part, and this this knob. That's how you do it with one hand, but you okay. can also do it with two hands. Okay. So whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay. So do go it ahead, shake. Yeah, baby, do it, do it, do it. Oh, she got it. <laughs> You got it! It's getting super cold. So you want to, yep, you feel it, right? So you want to shake that vigorously, or you really want to mix that um, rice, rice vinegar and simple syrup and lemon juice. You really want to, you really want to mix those <laughs> ingredients. A little salsa with the shake. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, keep shaking. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. My gym time. Yeah. <laughs> Got an arm work. All right, so I think we're finished with um, shaking it. Okay. So now we can just take this top off. Work out, right? It's really cold too. No, just, oh. just this top part. Okay. Okay, that went smooth. And then we're just gonna st strain it, pour it. Do I do it like? Nope. Okay. Only so, yeah. But I need to add a little finesse. Go ahead, pour it in there. Okay. 
Ooh, a oh, perfect, just enough. a perfect, a perfect mocktail. Wow. So I was trying earlier to get like a piece of to peel the lemon, but you know, I had a little challenge. I'm gonna make a lemon wheel. Well, you want to shake vigorously, so I would say about 20 seconds of shaking. Really, really hard. As you can see, Malika exhausted. is exhausted. <laughs> she definitely did an arm workout. So, um, oh, my lemon wheel is looking a little challenging. That's okay. So here we are. Here is our voila faux. I keep forgetting faux sake lemon drop. How does that look, guys? Wow. I mean, it looks just like a lemon drop. It does. Okay. Uh oh. The so, <laughs> don't mind my wheel. Hello. <laughs> so, the taste test. I'm gonna make my legs taste it first to see what she says. So, I will say I've never had a lemon drop. Please tell me what to expect. You didn't have a lemon drop vodka. Okay. So let's. What to expect? I don't know. We're tasting for the first time. Like. I mean rice vinegar. We're not using sake. We're not using vodka. We're using rice vinegar. So please, don't tell me how you think it tastes. Interesting. I had a feeling. I had a feeling it was gonna taste interesting. That's definitely interesting. <laughs> um, I mean, I will finish it. I don't you know what? Yeah, I've never had a lemon drop either. <laughs> really? Yeah, so I don't, I don't even know how to compare it. <laughs> wow. But I'm going to be honest. This rice vinegar is really strong. Yeah, it is. It is. You know what we could have done? We could have substituted. We could have taken out an ounce of rice vinegar. So we could have used two ounces of rice vinegar. Mm -hmm. One ounce of water. Mm -hmm. Ooh to minimize the rice vinegar, which I was trying to do with it sitting in the shaker. Yep. And then still use an ounce of simple syrup and an ounce of lemon juice. Yeah. I mean, the sugar definitely adds to it. The rim, the glass, I think. If you like something tangy and tart, this is it. Be honest, this is not my first choice <laughs> of, a, of a drink option. If someone said, hey, would you like a lemon drop, a, a, a non-alcoholic lemon drop using rice vinegar, I might tell them yes, but minimize the amount of rice vinegar in there. So, do you want to try it? Oh, we don't have nothing. Do you want to try it with just the water? Yes. Okay. So, we're going to try it with less vinegar and add a, an ounce of water. This is a drink that I feel like... Could protect me from COVID. <laughs> oh wow, that's true. <laughs> the this, lemon, this could be a health. This the could vinegar. be a, a definite healthy drink. Okay. So I have the first batch here. Um, so you can set up. Get set up for our next round. Okay. I'm nervous. I have this already. To do my rimmed glass. I can. I can always do that too because. Yeah. Focus on the app. So we're gonna use. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna do, we're gonna do all over again, and we're gonna minimize the amount of the amount of um, rice vinegar we used before. Let's start. Okay. So let's add some ice. Oh yeah. We're gonna take out the ice in there. Yep. Add some ice, add some fresh ice. Should I wash it out? Let's mix it out real quickly. Okay. Yeah, a little quickly. So yeah, any questions? Yeah, it's it's strong. It's really strong. So we're gonna we're gonna minimize the amount of um we're gonna reduce the amount of rice vinegar we're using um, to two ounces and use an ounce of water. And of course, keep simple syrup and the lemon juice. But this time we're gonna use bottled lemon juice. So we're definitely gonna see how that tastes. Mm. Okay, go for it, you wanna go 
for it or you want me to do it? You can do it. Okay, so now we're going to do, we have our ice. We're gonna do two ounces of um, rice vinegar. We're gonna do one ounce of water. One ounce of lemon juice. This is not fresh, fresh because I used up the fresh lemons earlier. An ounce of simple syrup. Definitely looking like a bartender here. Who me? Yes. I got a little some, a little less experience. <laughs> I got a little less experience. My hands are very wet, so that's why I'm also kind of like nervous because my hands are very, very wet. Even, even the experienced people use two hands. <laughs> but if you're ever in the working in a bar, you do not want to use two hands. It's just like my bartender using two hands to hold a shaker. So unprofessional. All right, so we have that. So as you can see, this gets, come on over. This gets when it gets really cold it does have a hard time coming coming off which is okay because i can either use take it off with a napkin or have another strainer so here it goes as you can see already it's less it's not as yellow absolutely so as you can see already this is the original original drink that we made with three ounces of rice vinegar and this is our recent um lemon drop that looks a little lighter a little bit of a little bit of froth which is good for a drink so already i feel like we're on a better page so let's see do you think we're gonna enjoy it this time i am looking forward to it okay so our lemon wheel <laughs> i have a little lemon hair i can always cut a little piece Push it up a little bit. Give it a little, give it a little something. Or not. Yeah. This might not stay on either. But here we are. Okay, so here's our updated full sake lemon drop. Okay, ladies. Have a taste. Ready? Can't wait. So remember we used two ounces of fix it. Go ahead. Two ounces of the rice vinegar instead of three ounces originally. How is that? Much better. Much better. Much better. Good. Much better. Definitely. Much easier. better you could sip on it if they if you were given this. Yeah. Okay. My turn. Let's see if I'm crazy. <laughs> no, it's much better. It's easier, I think. Man, that rice vinegar is strong. So here's the thing. They say rice vinegar is actually less acidic and healthier than white distilled vinegar. I don't know who cooks with white distilled vinegar. Right. I don't. <laughs> um, but if you're making like a salad dressing with olive oil and vinegar, rice vinegar, you would definitely need to add something to just take away that. Cause like it hits you right here. Yeah, that's, that's, that reminded me of the COVID. Yeah, it's like, Same okay, here. so whatever, it, if I have anything going on in my throat, like this rice vinegar right now is kind of like killing it. That's how we yep. feel right now. So I am thinking about adding more sugar. So we can try that again. Okay, adding it how? So we can do two ounces of the, mm, let me see. Taste it with just the, um, without the sugar there. Okay. Definitely the sugar does do something to it. Okay, so. You, it, it makes it you, better, I think. Would you add, hey, big work. <gasps> My mom was deaf like talking about big work. Like, yeah, big work was da da da. I was like, okay, mom. Anyway, um, sidebar. So, um, <laughs> so, do you think we should add a half an ounce of sugar, of simple syrup more? So like we could do like one and a half ounces of, of rice vinegar, an ounce of, ounce of water, an ounce of lemon juice, and an ounce and a half of sugar. Okay. 
Hey I'm Desi, how are you? Welcome. We're doing mocktails with Harry, with me. And this week we are we are definitely testing out our full sake lemon drop. <laughs> so earlier we made this with the proper ingredients, which was three ounces of rice vinegar, one ounce of lemon juice, and one ounce of simple syrup. And we did it over again. We thought it was like really, really tangy. So we did it over to this one and we did it with two ounces of rice vinegar, one ounce of water, one ounce of simple syrup, and one ounce of, le of lemon juice. So now we're discussing doing it over again and reducing the rice vinegar again, but adding more simple syrup. So I wanted to point out something to you. I tasted that mm -hmm. over. Mm -hmm. It's not as tangy. Go, this is tangy. <laughs> Maybe something's happening. This is, are you getting lip? <laughs> she getting lip off the rice vinegar. Um, mm -mm. Mm -mm, girl, that's tangy. This is good. I think, I think we're getting better. So I mentioned earlier that I did not make this recipe in advance to taste it because it's the main ingredient is rice vinegar, and it's it's just with simple syrup and lemon juice. I felt like it would just, I really wanted to see how strong rice vinegar is. I made it before with jam and um, that was cool, but this, the jam really has ingredients in it, but this is such a simple recipe. I wanted to see how the lemon juice, the rice vinegar tasted. So that's why we're, we're both like, huh, that's interesting. <laughs> I can start preparing. So mocktail, what do mocktails do for you, Sham? They, they, they get you lit? That's, that's good, that's good. Okay, so we need more ice? Cool. So I'm gonna get that, so get more ice for us. Um, and I'm going to clear out this, this drink, but also keep it. We're, we're, we're taste testing today. This is a really interesting episode. So Jare suggested that we add more simple syrup. And I think that's a great idea. Maleki will make this one. Oh! Okay. Maleki will make this one. And um, as you can see already, like the colors of it have a, like this is really dark. This is getting lighter. And of course, that's gonna get lighter too. But I feel like with adding more simple syrup, that'll be, that'll be a good thing. Think so? I look forward to it. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. So we're gonna do one and a half ounces of the lemon of the rice vinegar. We're gonna do one and a half ounces of the simple syrup. And we're gonna do one ounce of the lemon juice. Bottled. All right. You ready? Paper towel. Yes. All right. Yeah. Me and my wet hands. So remember to shake vigorously. What does shaking vigorously mean? It means like twenty seconds or more. If you're professional, you can use one hand. My hands are really wet, so I'm using both my hands. Okay. No water. Thanks for the reminder, Jade. Oh my God, teamwork makes the dream work. I almost forgot, I forgot the water. How could I do that? A very important ingredient. Because <laughs> it's gonna minimize the acidity of our Our mocktail. Let's try that again. Thank you for the reminder, Jade. All right, here it goes. All right. Ready to pour? Go ahead, go for it. Pour it on the table. Oh, yeah. So, again, it's lighter. They're getting lighter and lighter, as you can see. Maybe my lighting is 
there we go so it's a little frothy it's gonna like not be as frothy in a moment but it, it definitely is lighter in color compared to when we first started these two as you can see all right lakes go for it all right i hope this is the I one i think i think this is gonna be the one don't forget i'm lit nice she's lit she's very lit nice. off of the rice vinegar okay very nice still a little tart but def definitely very nice it's much it, it's good would you want to use less vinegar? I'm I taking like that drink home with me tonight. I feel like if it, if we did even less vinegar, it would re, it would just it would kind of lose something. No, I like spicy drinks. I like this one. So, okay, so we've come to the decision. I think that we are satisfied with a half an ounce of rice vinegar, an ounce of water, no oh, sorry, one and a half ounces of rice vinegar, one and a half ounces of simple syrup, an ounce of water, and one ounce of lemon juice. It's still a little tart. It's yes. still citrusy. Yes, absolutely. It's still citrusy, but it's definitely not as, as as shocking yes. as I would first try. That's a great word. So, yeah, my 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 conclusion with using rice vinegar in place of sake um, or vodka, if the recipe calls for it, is to use half of what half of what the ounces are for the the spirit. So half of water and half of rice vinegar. So the, the, so the cocktail mocktail calls for three ounces of sake, three ounces of vodka. You're gonna use one ounce of, um, you can use one and a half ounces of water, one and a half ounces of rice vinegar. We wanted it sweeter, so mm -hmm. we use more simple syrup. So definitely cut the amount of rice vinegar you're gonna use in half if you're gonna be using rice vinegar in, is an alternative to sake or vodka. Agreed. So, I, yeah, I think we did a great job. All right. Okay. Thanks, guys. So, Lex is gonna enjoy her, her mocktail that she made. She's coming off camera now. And I wanna thank you guys for joining me for this episode of what does this taste like, basically. Um, are there any questions? Anyone have any questions about the mocktail that we made today? why I made it, why I chose it, the ingredient you want to replace. So just a recap. So initially the recipe called for, so a lemon drop is usually uses vodka. Then I saw that it uses sake. And so I'm like, huh, I have rice vinegar in my kitchen. So let me see if I can use rice vinegar in place of sake. Why rice vinegar? I use rice vinegar because sake is from Japan. And rice vinegar is used in a lot of Asian cuisines, especially Japan. Um, what's a substitute for rice vinegar? Honestly, rice vinegar is such a distinct taste. Unless you want to use white distilled vinegar, that would be an alternative. Even though they, I've read that white distilled vinegar is more acidic than rice vinegar. Um, but if you don't use rice vinegar the easiest substitution that we usually use for vodka or tequila is water sparkling water club soda salsa water but then you would kind of get like a lemon water like a sweet lemonade and that is why i did not want to use all water and why i really wanted to test out using rice vinegar so a substitute for rice vinegar um, if you don't want to use vinegar, it would just be water. But in this drink, it would be, it would be like a lemonade, a sugared rim lemonade, in a nice, stylish glass. But get using the rice vinegar is something different, and um, but you can play with the measurements to to see if you want it stronger, like we did today. We started out here with three ounces of rice vinegar. Then we went down to two ounces of rice rice vinegar. Then we did 
one and a half ounces of rice vinegar. Of course, with that, you have to kind of um, balance out the different measurements of the other ingredients. Maybe you want it less sweet, maybe you want it more sweet, then you have to peel the ingredients. I wouldn't add more lemon juice because then it would really, really be tangy. And actually the tanginess might come from the lemon juice with the rice vinegar. So it might not even necessarily just, it might be enhancing the rice vinegar, the lemon juice. Because usually lemon enhances flavors. Um, yeah, so what is by tonight's drink? Well, I, I've used rice vinegar before. And I want something simple, but really that would be really interesting to talk about. And I, I believe we've used rice vinegar in a recipe, recipe, recipe before. We made the apricot sun jam, which you can, you know, check my IGTV for that episode. And we've used rice vinegar before, but in that recipe, it had jam and other ingredients. So it kind of subdued the rice vinegar. But this is just a simple recipe with three ingredients, like... You're really gonna taste all the ingredients of it, which I think is why they use vodka for this, because it's a really clean recipe, um, which is why they substitute it with sake, and which is why I said, okay, well, if it's a piece of sake, I can use rice and vinegar, because it's kind of from the same part of the world. Um, so that's why I chose this recipe for tonight. It's pretty simple, and but it's still complex in terms of how you wanna taste your rice vinegar. Hey, hey, air chow. So yeah, so yeah, the apricot sun was 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 also another interesting one because they used jam and rice vinegar, and so um, that was a, also a cool a cool recipe to go over. But something as simple as a lemon drop, um, three ingredients: vodka, orsaki, lemon juice, and simple syrup. It's like, how can you make that interesting? And I think we did that by substituting. An alcoholic spirit of vodka or sake with rice vinegar and really like taking our time to figure out how we would like our co our mocktail with using the rice vinegar because it says you can just use you can just replace rice vinegar with the amount of sake but rice vinegar vodka and sake don't necessarily have these distinct pow powerful strong tastes um, which is why they're good for like a lot of cocktails that because they, the, the, flavor, the other, other ingredients, the other flavors won't be overshadowed by the sake or vodka. But the rice vinegar definitely kind of like, was like, bam, what's that? Like, so, um, hey Amanda, sometimes I brunch. So, so we had to really play with the amount of rice vinegar that we used to substitute our sake or vodka for the lemon drop. So like I said here earlier, we used three ounces of rice vinegar. And we were like, wow, that's a strong drink. And not strong like, uh, we're throwing it back. And so then we decided to use two ounces of rice vinegar and adding an ounce of water. And then we got better. And then Jare suggested that we use more simple syrup. And so when you're gonna increase the amount of, of any ingredient, you have to decrease the amount of another ingredient. So we reduced the rice vinegar to one and a half ounces, an ounce of water, brought up, increased the amount of simple syrup to one and a half ounces and still kept our ounce of lemon juice. So I can't show you the actual drink because my sister Malika took it because she's like, I'm good. Like, she's like, I got it. Like, this is it. We made it. We did it. So um, definitely play it rice vinegar. It's three ingredients. It's, it's fun. Um, so rice vinegar is a, is a substitution for sake if you don't want to use alcohol. But we didn't want to just use all water, lemon, and simple syrup because that looks like and sounds like lemonade, okay? So thank you for joining me. And um, thank you for joining Malika and I tonight. She's my special co-host for the evening. And this is Mocklas with Harry. You can find me across social at Harry Marie and harrymarie.com online. And join me again for our next episode of My Friends with Harry. And of course I have other things coming up as well. Yeah, she's turned. She's turned, um, Eero. She, she took the drink and she said, I'm out, I'm off camera. She, so she's turning up right now off of the 
the faux lemon drop. Um, okay, so thanks for joining me, and um, you know, please do share this video if you do happen to make this. I would love to see photos or you DM me about what your measurements were. Again, my name is Harry Marie. Thanks for joining me for my clothes with Harry, and I will see you all later.